What's going on guys? I just want to start by saying thank you so 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 very much. We are at 1,199 subs as I am recording this, which I, I I'm, might be a little above that or maybe a bunch of people leave and maybe I'm below that. But right now I'm at 1,199. So I just want to thank you guys so much. We are almost there. 1,200, 1.2K and you guys are absolutely amazing. And I'm going to tell you that in probably every single video that I make. I'm so thankful. I try to respond to every comment. You guys are amazing. In today's video, we have some snipes for you, and then we have some gameplay with the same team that we are, have been using. Uh, well, we used it in the last video, so second game, second video with this same team. But I, I feel pretty good about it. 89 overall. We are going to change a lot of the defense after this video, but and maybe a little, a little bit else is a little bit other things as well. But definitely the defense is going to get changed. Breast cancer awareness defense is going to be done. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I don't have a whole lot of snipes for you. I got some decent ones, but this all happened in about a half hour. So if you're wondering how long did it take me to snipe, not very long. I have some good snipes and it was in a pretty short period. We hit a lot of snipes really quickly. So I'm pretty excited about that. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, a nice like down below would be appreciated. All right, go ahead and enjoy the snipes. We got a lot of offensive linemen snipes for you today. We got a Lane Johnson, 11,500. He sells for about 22. I think I sold him for 23. I was putting him up for eight hours this time overnight, and pretty much everything actually did sell. So that's absolutely great. And we got another one here. This one for 12,000 and change sold him for mid 30. So a 20 thousand coin snipe on a card that I have no idea when I seen that I'm like oh my goodness the offense alignment were pouring in I got a bunch of offense alignment in the span of like five minutes got a Frederick here pretty good price that's a good price decent okay snipe making about three four k on him I think about four k I made on Frederick so pretty good price I'll take it 4k I'll consider that a snipe we go ahead and gladly take our 4k and then a Khalil again that looks like uh looking at the other prices it looks like an okay price but again he sells for 18 I can sell him for 18 19k overnight I will take that 3 4k anytime I can so I'm happy with that anytime I get it so and then a Larry Hughes here uh sells him for a uh, Jerry Hughes I just called him Larry Hughes a uh, Jerry Hughes here for 10,000 and he sells for at the time was 15 16,000 I think I sold him actually for 16,000 so I got pretty much a uh, maximum value I did put him up for an hour because I was I was thinking I, he would sell pretty quick and it was a lot up so I was trying to get him sold before I went to bed and then we got a Brandon Marshall here he sells for about 20 very good wide receiver uh you know okay so I actually had another Brandon Marshall for the like the same price but I went and just put that one in the video and here we go I thought about this one actually for like a minute I bought a Bowman 106,000 I sold him I wasn't sure. I was debating. I had the mutt head prices up. I was like, what is he worth? Let me see it. That looks cheap. I haven't seen that cheap before. So it took me actually probably about 30 seconds of just looking up, deciding, and eventually I decided to buy it. I ended up putting him up for 145000 hoping that he would sell. I was looking at what they were selling for. I ended up putting him up for 145 and he did sell. So I got 130 and some change. So I made, I made, okay, I guess that technically was the best snipe. Uh, about 20, 24, 25k on that, and then we have a Bennett here. I'm happy every time I see Bennett. I've got a lot of Bennett's uh, low 20s selling for high 20s. Gladly take 5k anytime that I can hit it. So I, I'm gladly, I'll gladly take that. Uh, Martellus Bennett, and then we got a Mathis. Offense lineman just pouring in, making 3,000 on Mathis here. So offense lineman pouring in. I always don't know why they was just popping up. I was not on the auction house very long. Usually I spend about an hour. I had probably about, I would say five in the first 10 minutes so it was just pouring in it was it was pretty good and then i got a burnett here for a decent price there i'll gladly take that i know he sells for like thirteen thousand, so i'll make a couple thousand on burnett anytime i see him up for that cheap i i basically take that anytime i see it and then we got a lang here i seen it, it wasn't even the first one up it was up for almost two minutes but i knew that card sold for about thirty thousand, and that's what i sold him for about i think it was twenty nine thousand seven fifty. we sold him for so i'll gladly take that on lang I actually bought another lane right after that for uh, just a little bit more because I knew he was going to sell. And then I got a Jordy Nelson here, a really good price on Jordy Nelson. So I went and bought Jordy Nelson, happy with that price, knowing I can sell him for 17 17 5 ish uh, pretty consistently. So I know that's good. And then right after it, I got another Jordy Nelson. So somebody undercut the one I just bought. Thank you very much for doing that. Making what I thought to be like 3K, now it turns into like 6K uh, within a span of a few seconds. So I'll gladly take Jordy Nelson for 12. And then we got another offensive lineman. This doesn't look like that good a deal, but I knew I could sell this card for about 20, a little over 20. Even though you looked at the ones, there was a lot of them up. 
I know what he sells for. I was looking on Mutthead. It uh, set, has the prices, what he sells for, and I knew I could make three about 3000 on him at least. So I was happy with that. And then I got a By uh, Byron Jones. I actually bought two of these. Again, another card. I only showed you one of them, but I got a nice Byron Jones. Sold him for 30 k So I'll gladly take that. Anytime I can take 5 k I'll gladly take that any day of the week. Team unchanged for this video. We're still rocking Matt Forte. We added Keenan Allen in the last video. We added Jimmy Graham. Offensive line looking pretty good. We did make a little bit of adjustments last video, but that's unchanged defensively as well. We're going to do one more game with this defense. Try out the BCA. Try out using the defense alignment. It went. It worked out pretty well the last game, so I'm hoping we'll, it will do well this game. We're going to go back to using a different position after this because it does kind of get a little stale. I don't know. It's, it seems like... I don't know how involved I am in the defense doing well. So it seems like I'm just riding the my defense to victory, which is okay. But I would prefer to be a little more involved and maybe do a little bit. So we'll see how we do. Let's go ahead and get in the game. We are kicking off, which is great, of course. I love kicking off. We got our nice color rush unis, Oakland. We're not rocking any of the chemistries. They don't really help with anything right now, but I still like them. So we got the Oakland unis here. And we, uh, we got, we're right in this game. My opponent first in, first down, first play, and finds a wide open player. As we are using, like I said, the defense alignment. So the middle of the field wide open there in our cover three, unfortunately. So eh, we'll see, we'll see if we can make any adjustments. Uh, we, he does have his first and ten. Here we are, we're, again, we're using here. Let's see if we can get, we can't get by, we can't get off the defense alignment. He throws it underneath. And a fumble. I honestly thought this was not a fumble, and we pick it up. Fortunately, we couldn't stay in bounds. Woodyard, always around the ball. Whenever there's a fumble, he always seems to be around. Gets the fumble recovery, and it was it was not overturned or anything. Uh, it was a catch, I guess, somehow. I don't know how it was. And we go ahead and hit the underneath stuff, and Jimmy Graham. We are running the Pittsburgh playbook here with a gun close formation a lot, which you guys have probably heard of and know it's pretty darn good. And then we make a terrible throw. I don't know what I was thinking here, but A.J. Green bailed me out, so I guess it's okay. So we ran a lot of gun close. I was trying it out, tried a few different plays, and it worked out pretty well. Here we are, second and goal. We go ahead and just pound it right in with Forte. So I know a lot of people run gun close. I don't know if it's cheap or not. I've just seen it's a popular formation. I'm trying it out uh, on the Steelers playbook. If you have if you're struggling offensively, I think it would definitely help. There's a lot of good plays in there, a lot of tough plays to stop. So I don't know if that's a little cheap. But here we are playing the defensive lineman again, and we get a nice strip there. His offensive lineman, though, look at that. Look at that vision, though, running right through, not really losing too many yards uh, with the strip sack there. So unfortunately, he does get to keep the ball. Second quarter, we he has the ball second and 11 still. And we get their time. We got the block shed going, and we do get the sack with Wilkerson, that card. I love that card. It's going to be tough to say, see him go, but... I think we're going to say goodbye to pretty much most of our BCA players outside of Richard Sherman and probably, I guess, Sean Lee, Eric Berry. We get another good block shed, but wide open in the middle of the field. He gets a nice gain there. It's fourth and one. He likes what he sees. I'm not convinced he's going to run. I'm shading underneath. I'm trying to do everything that I'm supposed to be doing. What I learned from you guys, I'm trying, and I shade underneath, and I'm trying. Oh, I get a nice block shed. Look at that. He lobs it up. I don't know what he was thinking there. I don't know. Maybe that was the best call, but he does not get the first down, and just like that we got the ball back second and seven we're up by seven we're doing a screen i'm never good at these let's try it this time forte for oh forte breaking it forte oh look at oh my goodness matt forte with the best run that he's had since he's been on the team matt forte gonna be tough to see him go i think we're gonna have to but a really nice run uh, i think that's an understatement matt forte with a ginormous run with the touchdown so we're up 14 nothing just like that he started with the ball, and we got a 14-point lead. So maybe playing as a defensive lineman, we're going to win probably more at first. But And here he is, threading the needle. Uh, maybe it's going to help us win, but I don't, I don't know. It seems kind of – I don't know. I want to get better at using. So. Well, but for now, we're going to stay as a defensive lineman, and we're going to go ahead and try to rush here. We're not getting off the block. He has underneath wide open. He didn't throw it quick enough, and we do stop him there. Fourth and two. Of course, he's going to go for it. He's down by 14. If we get a stop here, we might just get a quit. And I didn't even show it because he got it with relative ease. He ran it, and it was uh, not nothing too too exciting. And he does pick up this third down as well here. So he's driving. He's got some. He's got a drive going. He's down by 14. He really needs to put points up. So hopefully we can keep out of the end zone. We get a nice block shot here, and we get the fumble. Can we pick it up? And we do pick it up. And look at this green. He doesn't have great speed, but it looks like he's got plenty of speed in this play. Easily running away. We get the touchdown. 21 to nothing just like that so my opponent and i start with the ball so we are we are looking really good it seems really unlikely that i can mess this up 
starting with the ball, but you never know. There's still 40 seconds to give up a touchdown. My opponent's throwing deep. He's throwing deep. Sherman. Sherman. This Sherman out there, and I should have just swatted. Thankfully, Sherman didn't get beat because he's a beast, but I should have swatted, and unfortunately, I wasn't thinking, but it didn't. It was okay because we didn't get beat. Sherman, Sherman made the play. So here he is, second and 10. A very next play after a really poor defensive play by me, but we still were okay. He's going deep again. For some reason, he's like, I like the Sherman matchup. I don't know why he liked the Sherman matchup. But we go ahead and get the pick, and there it is, Richard Sherman going out of bounds. And my opponent at this point is thinking, I think the game might be over. We're probably going to get another field goal at least. Then we get the ball to start the second half. What a great way to end the BCA team with a nice 21-0 victory at halftime. Woo, we do get the W. I know we're I know we're playing as a defense alignment. I know, I know, I know. But in the next video, we're gonna stop that, I think. Or unless I just want to keep winning because my team's so good, it helps. Maybe I shouldn't. And I know I, I did run the split close. Let me know if you guys don't like that under the Pittsburgh Steelers playbook. I don't know if it's cheap. I don't know. I seen it was a really good playbook. And I tried it out, and I know that formation is really good. So I don't know if it's cheap. But we did get the W. Obviously, that was kind of a, a blowout. But I do enjoy I do enjoy winning, so that was that was pretty nice. And of course, we we had a pretty nice team. Matt Forte, absolutely a stud. I think we might retire him after this video, but he's been a stud. So I'm excited to see some good plays from him. If you did enjoy this video, a nice like down below. Of course, thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you for subscribing if you already have, or if you do, or if you're just watching this video. Thank you so much. That's all I got. Chewbacca lemma, out.